If you're interested in brute forcing SSH, Telnet, FTP, and more, we've got a tool that can do all of them. Today, we'll check out BruteDem on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Online password cracking is a variation of password cracking that requires you to be connected directly to the target. Now, this could be something like SSH, FTP, or a VNC, and in general, it's difficult to find a tool that can do all these various services. Now, today we're going to check out a Python framework that attempts to do all of these, called BruteDem. Now, BruteDem is unique in that it also includes an Nmap scan that's capable of finding services running on a remote host. And this means that you'll be able to pick and choose the services, as well as the actual tools that you'll use to crack them. Now, in order to follow along, you'll need to have Python installed, and I recommend doing this on a Linux machine like Debian or Kali Linux. If you have any trouble setting this up, you can also check out the Nullbyte article linked in the description if you need some help while doing troubleshooting. Once you have Python set up and ready to go, then we can begin. Hey Bytes, in 2019, YouTube started enforcing a ban on instructional hacking. And as a result, we started getting warnings and even a strike on some of our content. Now, in order to make sure we didn't get taken off YouTube entirely, we had to move some of the more problematic videos over to the Nullbyte website. Now, I understand this is a little bit annoying, but you can still access the content by checking out the link below and in the description. Thanks for understanding. There we go. Just like that, we got a positive result. And we can go ahead and verify this. I'll type N for no. And we can see we got a login and a password. So let's go ahead and SSH tour at root. Oh wait, no, tour at 192.168.05. And when it asks for the password, we'll type root, which is what we just brute forced. And there we go. We have logged into this box by brute forcing their creden uh, the credentials with brute dumb. While well, online password cracking is a powerful way of auditing for weak passwords, it's also subject to some limitations. Now, the most obvious limitation is that you need to be online the entire time you're attacking the target, meaning you could be highly visible, and if someone's actually looking, they could easily detect this sort of attack. Another limitation is rate limiting, meaning if you go over a certain number of failed logins, a lot of modern applications will simply lock you out. Now, in general, this is a straightforward and fun series of Python tools to test various logins for security. But it goes without saying that you need to have permission in order to do this because it is very visible and very legal to do this on accounts that you don't. Now, if you have any problems setting this up, you can again check out the Nullbyte article linked in the description for any troubleshooting help. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for future episodes, send me a message on Twitter because I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.